This is like uh, the misspelling of Happy New Year. But anyway, Happy New Year 2022. All right, so here we are at Chengdu. This is the city known as the birthplace of pandas in China. When I early introduced Chengdu to customers in other countries, I tell them uh, it's a city famous for its uh, pretty girls because the girls here are very pretty. But it's only when I arrived here that I remember the most important fact to remember about this city, it's the pandas. This is a really vibrant city. I'm supposed to be in a kind of new area. It's really developed. Right now I'm on the way to the first minor distributor. Okay, so I'm going to meet with them very soon. They're in one of these buildings. Please note, this is not a, like a warehouse. This is not like a factory or a facilities. They have facilities in other places. Okay, I will see you soon. Okay, I just finished the meeting with the mining distributor. I spoke with one of their salespeople. I got to know them from a very long time ago. It's a really reputable company. They have a lot of advantage over these futures miners. Like if you want to get miners that's ready in half a year, three months or four months, I talk about futures. They have the best price and sources. Every miner distributor would like to have some kind of their unique advantage over some type of miners. And maybe gold shell or maybe futures or maybe ready stock. None of them can have the best of everything. No one can claim to have thousands of miners at all conditions used brand new futures if anybody claims that to you they are making a big statement they are just bragging you should uh, expect everyone to be strong in something and weak in some other things there is a high level of collaboration among these minor distributors you know because everyone has their niche everyone is strong in some certain area if you don't have that minor i give that to you if i don't have one minor you give that to me in that way the chinese minor distributors can grow together really strong i asked them a lot of questions on many aspects uh, pretty much all the answers fall into my expectation it's a really brief meeting but as they are very important to me i hope to meet them first and in this afternoon I'm going to meet with another minor distributor. They have a warehouse. They also have a, a very large facility. Maybe that will be more interesting than this one because the visit that I just had was just a like office tour. The most important aspect of this minor business is uh, trust. If you have the trust for some customers, whatever the minor is, they will buy the miners from you. It's not too bad to get everything from a one stop because the trust is a really high cost factor. During the discussion, I asked this lady about some of these most demand miners like L7, uh, KD6, K1 Plus and also the classic Ant Miner S19 Pro 110 terahash. Here are the responses. For the S19 Pro 110 terahash, they are still available. There was a like more updated version called S19A Pro which is supposed to be better because it consumes less power uh, allegedly. It's set on the website but there could be a rumor some of the people say S19 Pro without the A there is better. They said uh, uh, the board is better. You know, I don't know which one is true, but you can do your own homework or your own testing to compare the two to see if there is really any kind of difference. But the S19A Pro is, is perhaps not going to be available for a while because what we're really having even for the futures is S19 Pro 110 terahash. Because if S19A Pro is going to be ready very soon, we're going to see them in the futures option. I also asked her about the KD6. So she told me uh, their company didn't order any of these KD6. There were uh, some good deals in the beginning, but they were sold out immediately. But right now, if you inquire about the KD6, it is perhaps already swapped in too many hands. The price is, uh, has become to a uh, level it's impossible to buy. That immediately kills your urge to buy this miner. Also, I asked her about the L7. So the problem with L7 is the manufacturer Bitmain uh, delays on delivery. But according to our experience uh, dealing with Bitmain Direct, their delay does not exceed two months. So most likely L7 is going to be ready around January 15th, okay, which is only uh, one week away. Oh, look at this. This is the Bitcoin. <laughs> I don't know. Last time when I was doing a tour for the miners, <laughs> there was also a very big dip. So it's like uh, 
I'm, I'm making a big impact onto this crypto world. <laughs> kind of funny. They know that Charlie is making some action, then the market experiences big changes. If it's that's good news or bad news, I don't know. Let's hope uh, the coming year or the coming decade is a better time for Bitcoin, for all the cryptos. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit more again about this miner distributing and how to buy a miner from China. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.